Please welcome to the stage the Commissioner of the Social Security Administration, Kilolo Kijikazi. Do I have your permission to speak? Thank you, and good morning, everyone. I'm Kilolo Kijakazi, Acting Commissioner of the Social Security Administration. I want to thank the Biden-Harris Administration for hosting this third White House Tribal Nation Summit. I am proud to be part of this convening for tribal leaders and administration officials to work together SSA is committed to working with everyone here and to developing solutions to challenges that uh, tribal communities are facing. The programs we administer pay $1.4 trillion to over 71 million people each year. This includes seniors, working age adults, with long-term disability and over 4 million children. The programs, uh, or each week, we um, provide um, in our 1,500 offices across the country. Um, we provide services to over half a million people and even more by phone and by our website, ssa.gov. However, Barriers remain for tribal members in accessing our, our services and programs, both in person and digitally. We are working to reduce these barriers to ensure as many people as possible receive the Social Security benefits and Supplemental Security income or SSI payments for which they are eligible. When I assumed the position of acting commissioner, I was surprised that an agency as large as SSA and with such extensive programs did not have an office focusing on tribal nations. Therefore, in 2022, we established the um, Office of Native American Partnerships. Richard Litzy an enrolled member of the Muscogee Creek Nation is the director of the office, and Renee Ferguson, an enrolled member of the Cherokee Nation, is the deputy director. This office has accomplished an amazing amount in one year. My colleagues and I have held listening sessions and consultations with tribal leaders and members across the country. We we met with uh, tribal leaders at the, uh, at the Spokane Tribe of Indians in Washington State. We held listening sessions in urban Indian centers in um, Chicago, San Francisco, and Kansas City. We held listening sessions at national conferences of Native Americans in Anchorage, Alaska, and New Orleans. We participated in a national consultation in Cherokee, North Carolina, and a consultation with the Tribal Council of the Oglala Sioux Nation in Pine Ridge, South Dakota. After each visit, we conduct follow-up actions. For example, after the listening session in Anchorage, we developed a pilot to improve service in remote parts of Alaska. Under this pilot, we flew SSA employees to three tribal health facilities in underserved tribal communities. Within a few hours, we served more than 200 people. Without this service, these individuals would have had to travel by boat and plane to receive services from SSA. Our White House fellow, Dr. Brian Smith, a cardiologist, accompanied us to Pine Ridge. He remains in contact with tribal leaders and has arranged to return to conduct a listening session to better understand the health disparities they, they face and to provide health screenings while he is there. 
we are already making uh, great progress on the implementation of our FY 2024 Tribal Action Plan uh, based on feedback from tribal consultations and listening sessions. For example, where broadband has recently been expanded in tribal nations, we are interested in extending video connectivity to provide customer service to our tribal members. In addition, we, we are implementing our agency's first ever native language action plan. We also made a research um, grant to a tribal college as part of our Retirement and Disability Research Consortium. And we are recruiting from tribal colleges and universities for students to apply for positions at SSA. We want to meet with tribal leaders to hear about any uh, concerns that you may have. And we also want to schedule time after the summit to follow up with you um, and your council leaders so we can continue to work directly on improving access to your programs and to, to our programs. To that end, please join me in the next breakout session. And SSA will be meeting in the Rachel Carson room in the basement so that um, we may hear from you, exchange ideas, and highlight where we need to work across governments for solutions. We also welcome other federal agency officials who are interested in attending as well. Thanks so much and take care.